Hey guys, so today I'm here to show you something that I really like. It is my long stripe sort of sniper rifle. I had it singled before, um, but now I have an R RSCB on it. Just because I like those now. I actually like them a lot. So um, let's go over what this is. And yes, I know this is here. This is just from a bunch of views. Um, it is a long strike. This long strike has been through so much. I was originally going to make this a long strike with um, a Hornet long strike. So it still had the bolt action and everything, but instead of the reverse plunger, it had a Hornet tank. Um, the pump would be back here. Um, that's on Nerf Haven. Just go into the modification directory and uh, it should say Hornet powered long strike. Pretty cool. Uh, I was going to do that, um, but the problem is it was so long ago, I don't remember what happened. Something run went wrong, um, so I obviously did not do that. Um, then it was going to be a Hornet Long Strike with a Busby Ultimate Missile Blast integrated in the front, which I decided not to do, um, again because of the Hornet Long Strike. Then it was going to be a Power Stock Long Strike with the Busby Ultimate Missile Blast because I wanted like a sniper and then still clips so I did not do that either um, then I was just gonna say screw it all let's just put a missile blast in here and then I decided not to do that because I didn't want to cut the shell and finally I found something that fit it is actually the shot blast tank the nerf shot blast water gun tank super soaker um, so all I did was hot glue that into the gun, run tubing, and this is actually a Titan pump just because I, cause I had an extra one. Um, it takes about, well, if you really want to fully pressure it, it's probably two or three, but I pump it four or five. I used to pump it eight because I didn't know how many it took, and then I took it apart and I realized the tank was actually beginning to expand, meaning not when I pumped it, so it had a little almost a hairline crack except for without the crack part in it so it had like a you could see it bending it's really hard to explain so it was like that and I was like no more 10 pumps um, and I had it singled but I'm just using the RCB now um, so I have a coupler on the end of this the tank inside um, and then pipe running up the elbow half inch CPVC elbow CPVC um, this is half inch, half inch, and th either three quarters or two thirds inch um, uh, coupler. And then this is half inch PVC. And then a half inch PVC ball valve to load them in. And then a probably about nine inch CPVC half inch sparrow. Um, and another thing I really like about this gun um, inside the gun, I'm not going to put a picture up. I had pictures, but I'm deciding not to. Um, you, know, you can see it. There is half inch PVC running from here to about here, and um, it doesn't. It's not an internal RSB, RSCB or anything. It's just um, PVC pipe, and then there's a cap on the end. There's hot glue at the end of this so they don't fall through, and the cap and. So what you can do is, I think I have some darts, yes I do, you can take the darts and you can load them in there, I think it holds six of them, and there you go, you got that, um, and it's a dart holder, and then you put the cap back on, when the RCB is empty, you open that up, reload, pretty cool, um, this is a metal clamp, because hot glue wasn't going to cut it, I knew that, electrical tape didn't work, <sighs> So I went to the store and got one of these for like a dollar. Um, the only problem, it bent the plastic. It still holds fine, but it bent the plastic so much it ended up actually ripping. So I was a little upset about that. It, it doesn't look as clean now. Um, but yeah, and then of course a uh, keyring trigger. And I'm actually using guitar, guitar cable. Um, it really doesn't matter which string you use it from, but I think mine was a, um, uh, 
G string or a low B string or a high B string I guess it would be but um, it was either one of those and I just hooked it up to the pin and then a key ring because the trigger was having problems I'm not sure why maybe too much friction but I'm going to take some darts I have I'm going to load them in the RCB holds six I think six or seven Four. It does work with streamlines too, but um, I used it once and it jammed. And trust me, it's not fun unjamming an RCB. Oh well, wow. that's I think five, and I think I have room for three more, so it probably holds about eight. Um, I give it four or five pumps. Yeah, let's go to the fifth one. Shake the RCB. And these are slugs, so I'm just going to shoot it at something I can't break. One, two. Alright, something went wrong. Because I can feel the pump pulling. There we go. It's four. Or that's four. Why is it doing that? Oh. Duh. I'm pulling the trigger. I think that's five. Yep, that's five. So, yeah. I haven't decided if I want to keep it like this. I may take this tank out because it's supposed to be impressive. And it, it was at first, and it really is impressive for singling. You get a lot of distance. But I just don't like how it's sitting in there because it had to sit sort of crooked when I put it in so I didn't have to cut the shell so the PVC sort of if you can see that around the take that out if you can see that I'll try and line it up for you guys so you can see the CPVC coming out of it is sort of bent because it's at an angle so I really don't like that but you know But if I decide to keep it, then uh, I'll probably uh, get another one of these clamp things and clamp it down to the gun. Actually, I think I still have one of those. Eh, it's somewhere around here. Oh well, can't find it right now. But yeah, so thank you guys. This has been my... Um, Shot Blast Tank RSCB Long Strike, and um, I guess if you want to put the Long Strike like this, I was just thinking about this, you can do that and then put a scope on. You can't use the barrel attachment anymore. I actually used to, when I had it singled, I used to have the uh, barrel attachment on, so it was a real long barrel. So yeah, I guess you could do this, but I like to have my barrels straight, just so I can sort of aim down them. So, you know, whatever floats your boat. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. And stay tuned because I think pretty soon will um, be my Titan Berserker project. Which, if you haven't seen the video yet, you can see it. It should be the one right before this on my channel. So, check that out. That is going to be a sick project. So, thank you guys.